The UIL just dropped the hammer. Officials stripped the boys basketball team of last year's state title and banned the girls team from the playoffs this year. Matt Howerton explains why. Duncanville makes it a three peat. A storybook ending for Duncanville basketball. Three consecutive UIL no longer matters. They shouldn't punish the whole team for the one technicality. Parents picking up kids at Duncanville High had heard by the end of the day the UIL stripping the Duncanville boys basketball team of its 2022 state championship. All because of Anthony Black. One of the best on the team last year, a five-star recruit, yet the now Arkansas basketball player had been ruled ineligible before the season over a reported recruitment violation. Black's mom dating Duncanville coach David Peavy at the time. Her family transferring from Coppell to here. The UIL saying the transfer was for athletic purposes. I knew uh, their efforts to, to become a family. But former Duncanville mayor and Panthers fanatic Cliff Boyd feels like that is a stretch. It was a, a true family, uh, putting two families together for the betterment of, of the kids and, and, the, and the spouses as well. Before the season, Black's mother filed a temporary restraining order that made its way through the courts, and when it was upheld, Black played. He sat when it wasn't. Attorneys for the district pointed that out to the UIL, saying Peavy did what the court said until the final conclusion. They suspended him for a year and crowned the McKinney Lions the new champs. The girls' varsity coach, Legina Howard, also suspended over a recruiting violation, too. The team also banned from postseason play as well. Neither coach commenting about the situation or who takes their places now. Both teams ranked in the top five statewide without a compass. In Duncanville, I'm Matt Howard. And we just received a statement from the superintendent of Duncanville ISD in the last hour concerning the penalties leveled on the boys basketball team. The district says it disagrees that it violated any UIL rules by playing a student whose eligibility was the subject of a valid court order. Superintendent Mark Smith goes on to say these are significant and unprecedented consequences for both programs and students will suffer the most from today's decisions. Duncanville's basketball program has faced a UIL suspension before. Longtime girls basketball coach Kathy Self Morgan was suspended for three years in 2019 for alleged recruiting violations. She denied those accusations and retired a couple months before the ban was announced.